Hi guys. You ever need a latch and not really want to go to the store and, and get one? You wanted one that custom made and looks nice. If you have steel laying around, why don't you just make your own? It doesn't take that long. Myself, I don't care for dead bolts. A lot of people use dead bolts and I, I don't care for them much because if they get out of a line, they don't work real well. Let's make our own latches today. Before we get started, please subscribe like comment share with a friend hit that notification bell and check out the link below to our merchandise store scout he's helping today i guess oh scout you're helping today huh this is what he does when he wants attention and i'm working in the shop he'll get right in your face and won't give you and let you get anything done okay i already cut some steel what I'm using is 2x2x8 two by two by angle iron and 1x8 flat bar because I have tons of it laying around here so why not use it right so what we want to do is we need it we need to determine whether it's a left or a right hand door and I need three of them for the project that we're working on. We're working on the piston pump. What this is going to do, we need to cut a slot. We need to cut a slot right here. We'll do that with the right angle grinder. Bolt that on there. And then we'll cut a slot in this and cut an angle. And then that will be our door latch. It makes a very nice door latch. It works really well. Flat bar is an inch, so we want to... Mark our slat or our slot for an inch. Just lay our flat bar on there. We'll mark, mark them all. I'm keeping them paired up. Whenever I'm cutting these parts out, a lot of times I'll cut a couple extras just in case we have a learning experience or a mistake, I guess you could say. So, what we need to do is cut these out. I use a right angle grinder. Be careful using a right angle grinder. You can get cut really bad. So here's a pair of Kevlar gloves. They're a little bit more resistant to being cut. As you notice, I said resistant. I didn't say they were cut proof. Just threw that in the vise. Cut an eighth inch slot in there. Double check that. Looks good. We got that one perfect first go. Might be a little bit wide. Slot may be a little wide on there, but it'll still be all right. our latches we need to drill a quarter inch hole I guess we'll be rooting through our bolt then look what I found this here's I guess at your own discretion of how you want to do this you could just go ahead and punch holes in there and call it good. But myself, I like to make them nice and center, look them, make them look nice and neat. And we've got to drill holes in here as well for the screws to, to mount it. We're going to put mounting screws on too. Let's take a marker. Mark these guys. This here's a cool little ruler. It's a center roll, roller, the zero is in the center, and then you can find center on your piece of steel relatively quickly and easily. It's kind of nice. So I like, like to be precise. I mean, you can, you can either do a good job or you can do a bad job, and it both takes the same amount of time to do it, so why not do, 
do the good job the first time around, right? Okay, now I just use this little guy, this little tape measure or ruler. It measures in 30 seconds and 60 fourths of an inch. And we'll measure up a half inch. That will put that that bolt right dead dead center, make it look neat. We'll take a punch and punch that. Hey bud, what you doing? Huh? What you doing, mister? You being a good boy? Look who come to say hello again. Say hi, sound scout. Good boy, huh? Yes, you are. Come here, Tessie. This is Tessie. She's a little sweetheart, too. Where's Toby at? Where's Toby? Go find Toby. Okay, guys, go. I've got stuff to do. Now, this latch is a latch that I come up with. I didn't have any help from anybody to come up with it. And I just, I really like it. It's It looks nice. Probably look nicer if it was painted. But as you know in a lot of my videos, I don't take time to paint stuff. I, I just don't have time to do it. So I'm not going to do it. Put a hole here. Put an X here and put a hole here. Hole here. A hole here for mounting purposes, of course. Countersink them so the screws sit flush and it works properly. Tessie? No. You being a garbage hound. Hmm? Good girl. Okay, this is an engineer, an engineer's punch. Probably can't see it, but there's a little dot in the center, and you look down through this, it's like fiber optics. And it centers the and of course I don't have a hammer. So I'll have to get it. That's centered on there. Just give it one good whack. We have our hole or our center punch and just repeat the process. Now I'm not going to worry about those ones that are going to go that we're going to countersink for mounting because they don't have to be super precise. It ain't going to hurt nothing. This can be a little more challenging sometimes to go there. I'm gonna go grab a screw because we gotta put countersinks on the screws too. These are the screws that we're using. I also made these handles. Just eighth inch flat bar, one inch. Cut 10 inches long, one inch to screw to. I just put one hole in each one. That there I believe is an inch and a quarter. They will make great handles. Okay, I'm going to punch a pilot to start with. Use a little lubricant. Coolant, I guess I should say. It's got lubricant in it as well. That's one of the ones that we... Uh, punched the center punch in it if you're wondering the coolant that I'm using is called tri -cool. it's got a little bit of lubricant in it and it's Now the countersink should be turned turn a little bit slower than what I'm going to turn it at, so don't criticize me too bad, please. OK, 
Okay, now what we need to do, I was gonna go ahead and put latch, a lock on this, but I don't think I need it, so I'm not gonna do it. But what you do is you drill a hole right in here to where these two match up where you can slip a padlock through it. I guess if we remember how it goes together, it'll work. like that what I'm gonna do we're gonna cut that off so we want to lock that nut in place take the center punch and right where that bolt and nut meet we want to punch it And I usually do it three times. And that will lock that nut and it won't come out, come loose. Okay guys, we got the latch mounted. My battery went dead, so I don't know what I got. Got the latch mounted, works perfectly. Now it'll loosen up as time goes along. It'll loosen up and work in there so that latches on its own and it, it's latching now and I'm good with that so we have two other ones to install hopefully you found this video useful that's probably a 25 or a 30 dollar latch if you're to go to town and buy it and we built it for with just scrap that was laying around and it's also a really nice looking latch and it's a strong latch very very strong latch so Hey guys, that was the latch building video. Please subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend, hit that notification bell, and check out our merch store in the description below. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later. See you on the next one.